Brothers and sisters, we live in times where God's hand reveals warnings not for fear but for protection. Today, I bring you a solemn message as shared in a vision by Father Jim Blunt, a voice both humble and strong, speaking to the urgency of our times. This message is not meant to alarm you but to awaken a spirit of vigilance and preparation within each of us. Our northern territories, particularly south-central Alaska, stand on the threshold of unprecedented winter storms, and God is calling His people to heed these signs. As Father Jim Blunt revealed, severe snowfall and blizzards of unusual strength will soon blanket this region. Those living in Alaska or any connected territories must prepare, prepare not only in physical measures but with a spiritual heart, ready for what is to come. For the Almighty speaks through signs, and when nature roars, it is a call to attention. The details Father Blunt shared are clear. Snow will fall heavily, swiftly, and persistently across regions that once held resilience against winter, but will now be tested in ways unseen. It is not merely an unusual snowfall. It is an event that calls for the whole community to act with care, faith, and focus. Father Jim Blunt's words ring with an urgency we cannot afford to ignore. A snowfall of great and daunting measure will descend upon the lands of south-central Alaska, reaching from the Copper Basin to the Thompson Pass. What we are about to experience is a series of storms, blizzards marked by both intensity and relentless persistence. It will be as if the sky opens and flurries cascade with a force and speed that none have seen in recent years. This snowfall will not pass quickly or softly. It will accumulate reaching depths that transform once-familiar roads and landscapes into treacherous paths. The Lord speaks through His creation, showing signs that prepare us for moments of great challenge and great need. Father Blunt warns that the snow will come as if from nowhere, blanketing homes, vehicles, and streets within hours. Those who venture out unprepared may find themselves struggling against forces they did not anticipate. Father Blunt's message specifically identifies Thompson Pass and Copper Basin as regions of particular intensity. Snow will pour with such fury in Thompson Pass that visibility will reduce to nothing. The blizzard warnings are not merely suggestions but pleas for caution. Authorities are rightly advising that even short travel distances could become perilous. Vehicles will slide, snow will build upon windshields, and headlights will dim against the onslaught of white falling in sheets as if nature itself obscures our way. In the Copper Basin, snow will fall so quickly that roads become near impassable. Many, if they are caught unprepared, may face hours in whiteout conditions, stranded without support. Roads that were once well navigable will be blanketed under feet of snow, making any rescue efforts a challenge for even the most skilled responders. This vision is a divine reminder we must prepare ourselves not only for cold but for isolation, not only for snow but for delays and dangers that could become life-threatening. Heed the warnings, plan for alternatives, and ensure that your vehicles are prepared for what lies ahead. The cold is more than an inconvenience. It is a test, a proving ground for our faith and our readiness. Those who travel must take heed. For even the briefest of trips could mean an extended stay in conditions that numb and freeze. Snow mountains shall fall, accumulating on roads, creating blockades of ice and snow that impede any ordinary means of travel. From anchorage to more remote areas, even short trips could spell danger for those who proceed unprepared. Motorists are implored to clear snow from their vehicles entirely, windshields, headlights, taillights, ensuring that visibility is at its best in every direction. Reduce speed. Drive with caution and a spirit of humility, knowing that nature's power far exceeds our own. In these times, patience and prudence will be our shields against the trials of the storm. It is no mere storm, my friends, but a period of refinement, where wise decisions may become a lifeline. Father Blunt's vision warns that the blizzard will not only bring snow but an intense, pervasive cold that settles into the earth and air alike. This is a freeze that extends beyond physical discomfort. It is a chill that sinks into the very spirit of the land, 
demanding resilience from those who stand in its path. Temperatures will plummet in the wake of this storm, and those unprepared may face hardships more intense than they have known. Prepare your homes, your vehicles, and your families. Ensure that you have emergency supplies, that your heating systems are ready, and that you have access to blankets, food, and the essentials to sustain yourselves for days if necessary. For some, this may seem an inconvenience. Yet, those who heed this message will find safety and peace. Remember, these actions are not merely physical but spiritual. They represent a willingness to heed the warnings, to be a people who live prepared, both in spirit and in action. One of the clearest warnings shared by Father Blunt is the call for vigilance against the dangers of speed and neglect. When snow falls in abundance, as it will, speed becomes a danger, and neglect becomes a pathway to peril. Those who rush, who assume that their usual pace and habits will suffice, risk not only their own safety but that of others. For in times such as these, even minor neglect can turn into tragedy. Let this message be a reminder. Slow down. Drive with a steady hand and a calm heart, not driven by urgency but guided by wisdom. Remember that patience is not only a virtue but a shield in times of peril. For the reckless will meet obstacles. Those who move with caution will be safeguarded. This is more than a call to physical action. It is a call to spiritual alignment with the will of God, who desires that we move wisely, that we care for one another in both word and deed. My brothers and sisters, as this time of trial approaches, know that this message is not meant to fill you with fear, but with readiness. Take the necessary steps. Clear your vehicles, keep blankets and supplies at hand, check weather forecasts, and drive with care. Check in on your neighbors, especially the elderly or those who live alone. Use this time not only to prepare yourself but to offer help where you can, to stand as a community unified in readiness and resolve. Remember that these warnings, though dire, are also messages of hope. For in preparation, we find strength. In unity, we find resilience. When nature reveals its power, it reminds us of our own humanity and our capacity to care for one another. In all that you do, let your actions be a testament to your faith and your commitment to heed the call of God, who warns not to harm but to save, not to destroy but to preserve. Father Blunt's vision stands as a clarion call for us all, both those in the path of the storm and those beyond. In moments of intense trial, we are called not only to prepare physically but to strengthen our spirits. For in these times, we are reminded that we are more than mere inhabitants of this world. We are its stewards, called to preserve life, to safeguard each other, and to stand as beacons of faith in times of darkness. May God's grace and protection be with you all, as you prepare, as you watch, and as you stand firm in faith. In closing, let these words from Father Blunt settle within you. Prepare well, for it is in our readiness that we meet God's grace. Act with courage, for it is in our faith that we are sheltered. Amen.